Okay, let's do L'Hopital's rule. Every now and then I call him El Hospital. I don't know why, but it's just kind of funny. But anyways, basically uh, uh, L'Hopital's rule. Um, basically, you know, you'll you'll arrive at a situation one day when you're taking the limit of a function, and you're going to end up with something like this. You're going to end up with like a zero over zero. You know, one one of these situations right here, you're you're going to find yourself entrapped in one of these things, and L'Hopital's rule is basically a way around it. Okay, so basically, if you end up in this situation while taking the limit of a function, okay. I think the goal is maybe you can rewrite it as a rational function, you know, and we'll, we'll, we'll do some examples, you know, maybe, maybe it, it's in the form where there's a function divided by another function. Well, at, at the limit as x goes to a, we just want to take the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom, okay? Um, and that is really the only thing you really got to got to keep in mind you know uh, and now it only it only works when you have this this form right here okay I mean you can't you know you can't evaluate like a complicated limit you know if it if it doesn't if it doesn't you know give you one of these situations you can't use it so um, basically it's just derivative of the top derivative of the bottom and if that doesn't work and you still have an indeterminate form no problem, you can use it over and over again until that indeterminate form goes away, and then that'll give you the limit, okay? Now this isn't the official rule, um, you know, so, but it's just kind of a, ba it's basically what it is. We'll do some examples, um, and then we'll start to look at some of the math stuff, okay? So, let's see here, let me get, let's just get an example going, okay? So, here we go, I got, I got the limit of sine x, the first thing I want to do is I, I want to look for that indeterminate form, okay? You know, as as 3x goes to 0, sine x is going to go to 0, um, and the same with the bottom. So I'm going to get a 0 over 0 situation, which is good, okay? Because that says that I can go ahead and use L'Hopital's rule. So all I got to do is just do derivative top, derivative of the bottom, okay? So what's that? That's, um, what's that? That's cosine... 3x. Well, we could probably do this one without even thinking right now. Okay, so uh, as 3x goes to 0, cosine uh, goes to 0. So that is going to leave us on the top with 3 times 1. You know, pretty easy example. You know, nothing too tough. Um, but that's basically. Um, that's basically what's going what's to happen with something like that, okay? So, let's see. Let's do another one. Let's, um, um, I don't know. Let's, let's do this one. Let's go limit of natural log x over x minus 1. Let me put a little dividing line here. And let's go as x goes to 1. Okay, so as at, so natural log of one, you know that's um, that's just zero, and if we go one minus one, we get zero over zero again, right? Okay, so um, that's definitely an indeterminate form, uh, so it's okay. We can go ahead and use the rule. So um, let's just go ahead and rewrite this. Am I on the thing still? Yes, and that is going to be. Derivative of the top, that's just 1 over x. Okay, and then we're going to divide it by the derivative of the bottom, which turns out to be pretty good. It's just 1. And we end up with 1 over 1, which is just 1. So uh, the limit in that case is just 1. Okay, okay here's another example. We're, we're going to work our way up, you know, to some of the more complicated ones. Okay, so so what's going on here? You know, if, if we, if we uh, go ahead and evaluate this limit, um, it looks like, you know, tan tangent of zero, that's zero. As theta goes to zero, it's it's zero. Um, then we got zero, sine of zero is also zero. So if I have zero and I subtract nothing from it, I still got zero. So there's our indeterminate form, everything's cool, so let's... Uh, do some derivative stuff and derivative of tangent 
Uh, well, that's just she gets squared. Minus one. And derivative of the bottom, that's just one minus cosine theta, isn't it? Seek it. Um, that's just inverse of cosine. So if, if, if cosine goes to uh, zero, which is one, uh, secant's also just going to be going to one. So secant squared of zero is one minus one. Um, cosine of one, cosine of zero is one. So this is, a, this is an example of a situation where we did it in deter we did it, uh, we applied the rule once and we're still indeterminate, aren't we? Okay. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to do this over again. And we can just repeat this. As long as we end up with an indeterminate form, we can keep on doing this. Okay. And just hopefully it doesn't last too long. Uh, so, uh, secant squared. Well, that's just 2 secant theta. And then we got to differentiate the inside. And secant derivative of secant is secant tangent, right? Okay, minus one, that derivative is just zero. Same here, that's zero. Derivative of cosine is negative sine, but cosine's negative, so it, it turns positive, so that's just regular sine theta, okay? And this is starting to look a little icky. So let's see if we can simplify it a little bit. So what, what, do, what do we have? We'll have two secant squared theta tangent theta over sine theta. Okay, um, I'm not going to try to, if I, if I, if I use L'Hopital's rule again, I'm going to end up with just uh, a really bad, you know, I'm going to do product rule and all this stuff. So let's just see if we can't uh, go for some simplification, like uh, algebraically. So that, that's going to be 2 over cosine squared. And then I'm going to go 1 over sine theta. And that's just sine theta over cosine theta for tangent. Okay, so, you know, that looks pretty good because sine theta cancels out. And it looks like I'm just left over with the limit. Of 2 cosine cube theta. And, you know, Cosine, it, theta goes to zero, cosine goes to one, cube one, you still get one, so your final answer right there is two. Okay, so, um, you know, that, that, that is only the tip of the iceberg, okay? Um, you know, I, I, I guess the only thing I really covered in this video is zero over zero, infinity over, did I do an infinity? I don't know, but same thing. Um, more videos to come, and they get a little tougher over here. You know, they take a little more, uh, you know, going. So, I will see you in the next video on this.